Yes, the future is here. With the Hyperloop technology, we're just getting closer to science fiction being the reality of our lives. Elon Musk is the person who started it, but many entrepreneurs have now taken the part in Hyperloop traveling. We were introduced in Hyperloop back in 2013 when Musk launched the idea in a research paper which declared the Hyperloop as a fifth mode of transportation. Now, let's see how India is planning to create a $10 billion Hyperloop and everything there is behind this project. Tesla and SpaceX Before we start with the Indian project, let's find out more about this fifth mode of transport, shall we? We all know that Elon Musk is CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, and his purpose is to colonize Mars. However, with all the hype, his huge net worth, and his presence, you should also know that Musk's companies are taking over various industries. Elon Musk works with a larger, more universal order than we can imagine. He has become a household name constantly linked with the future. Working on electric vehicles, Tesla, sending rockets into space, SpaceX, his enormous popularity comes with a reason. Now, what do we know about Musk's Hyperloop? The place. Elon Musk's Hyperloop could take people from Los Angeles to San Francisco in 30 minutes. But this is more complicated than it sounds. In fact, the layover the project will take in Sacramento could hold that trip for decades. The Hyperloop, or as people refer to it, the fifth way of transportation revealed by Musk, is certainly an interesting idea, one that could possibly start changing the world in a way we have only seen in movies. With air cushioned aluminum tubes, Eon planned to create a pod system for only $10 billion. The pods, powered by solar energy, would travel at upwards of 700 miles per hour and make the trip in 30 minutes. Musk stated it is workable from a scientific view. However, the place looks like a huge problem here. California is generally contemplated to be one of the worst places to do business. However, Musk doesn't seem to have the time to focus on this project right now because, as he claims, his duties at automaker Tesla Motors and SpaceX would meet the problems of getting the raised system off the ground. We all know that the first thing is to get the land and that's probably quite expensive. Also, even though this is a private project, well, the thing is that it's not possible since transport is involved, the state would also be affected. Musk tweeted his plan back in 2019 after the Technical University of Munich set a new record for the fourth year running. Its pod reached 463 kilometers an hour, 288 miles an hour in the current test tube in the US which runs for 1.6 kilometers straight. He said the new vacuum tube would be curved. Eventually, Hyperloop trains will aim for the top speed of 1,220 kilometers an hour or 700 miles per hour. The idea got backing from Richard Branson's Virgin Group, which is developing a passenger system called Hyperloop One that it says will have a top speed of 1,080 kilometers or 670 miles an hour. A Hyperloop. Now let's see what Hyperloop truly is. Virgin Hyperloop One describes the technology as a new mode of transportation that moves freight and people quickly, safely, on demand, and direct from origin to destination. Passengers or cargo are loaded into the Hyperloop vehicle and accelerate gradually via electric propulsion through a low pressure tube. The vehicle floats above the track using magnetic levitation and glides at airline speeds for long distances due to ultra-low aerodynamic drag. Ever since, we've noticed a lot of interest in using Elon Musk's white paper as an inspiration for companies to create their own solutions. All companies hold a large grouping of global experts with deep field experience in engineering, transport, supply chain, and safety. Heart Dutch company Hart won first place in the 2017 Hyperloop competition, an event that was caused global attention for the Hyperloop. The departure is a switch that enables the vehicle to pass from one track to another, creating a network of tubes connecting all European cities. The mechanism does not have any moving parts either, making the switch low maintenance and incredibly efficient. 
Back in 2019, the company stated that Europe's first facility to test Hyperloop at high speeds will be built in Groningen and open to many Hyperloop developers. Then in February 2020, the company shared an arrangement to build a joint technical committee called JTC20 to define, establish, and standardize the methodology and framework to regulate Hyperloop travel systems and ensure interoperability and high safety standards throughout Europe. India's $10 billion Hyperloop One of India's most active transportation routes are getting a great upgrade with the prediction of a $10 billion Hyperloop project probably the first of its kind, which will carry passengers 117.5 kilometers from Mumbai to Pune in just 23 minutes. Yes, you heard that right, only 23 minutes. The Maharashtra Provincial Cabinet signed the RS 70,000 crore US $10 billion project already. Before the coronavirus pandemic, around 75 million people traveled the route annually. This project would mark the beginning of a new era in the country's transport sector, the state government reported. Hyperloop is an ultra-high speed rail system that drives passenger pods through nearly entirely frictionless tubes using magnetic propulsion at speeds of up to 750 miles an hour. The Pune Metropolitan Regional Development Authority PMRDA will manage the project which is supposed to be supported mainly by international finance. United Arab Emirates, DP World and Virgin Hyperloop One have already signed up to be included. The Status The crew sticks to the plan and continues to work with the government of Maharashtra, but because of the COVID situation things don't go as planned and delays are expected. We need to mention that lots of jobs have been lost because of the pandemic and the economy is not as bright as it was. The private investment would be only of the biggest in Maharashtra's history and bringing Hyperloop to the people of Mumbai and Pune will certainly change lots of things. As the company stated, they are giving further information to the state at its request before the launch of the competitive bidding process under the Mahala DEA acts and rules. The project will open 1.8 million jobs over its existence and $36 billion in socio-economic interests by giving a new and exportable business in Maharashtra, so this investment will certainly open tons of possibilities. Devendra Vadnavis, Chief Minister of Maharashtra, said that Maharashtra will create the first Hyperloop transportation system in the world and a global loop supply chain starting from Pune. We have just named DP World Virgin Hyperloop One Consortium as the OPP for the Mumbai Pune Hyperloop project and are preparing to start the public procurement process. Phase One Demonstration Track now, this investment promise to India is complicated and long-term, but also in need of the project's development and potential partnerships. As they planned it, the Advanced Pune Mumbai Hyperloop project would be the most comprehensive privately funded transport infrastructure project in India. They plan to build an 11-kilometer section, Phase 1, as we previously said to confirm complete safety certification before moving to build the remaining route. Well, according to the company, as a new design that exceeds the plane, trains, and cars, Hyperloop doesn't apply to the regulatory guidelines of any existing modes. We have to demonstrate our safety case to regulators and are committed to working with them to develop a new regulatory framework. In the US, the release of the Hyperloop Certification Center makes important regulatory growth around the globe. In India, the government of Maharashtra has considered Hyperloop a public infrastructure project and allowed the Virgin Hyperloop DP World Consortium as the original project proponent. And when it comes to using it, it's quite easy. The Hyperloop will probably be affordable as if it's not affordable, people won't use it. India is looking to build something that will increase possibilities for the people so they can live in one city and work in a different one. According to the company, the exact ticket price will be different for each route, and a new study showing using a Hyperloop in Missouri could cost less than the gas needed to drive the route. Every course in a separate part of the world is uniquely created, and has its own restrictions. This is why India manages utility studies, detailed project reports, and related analyses for each route under study. We end our video here guys. Do you think India's $10 billion Hyperloop will be a good investment? 
let us know in the comment section below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing videos such as this. Thanks for watching.